Wilson's Promontory National Park has had broadtooth rat records in the past, but the last time we saw them here was back in the 1990s. A broadtooth rat is this native uh, rodent species. It's basically a gorgeous little brown fluff ball. And we have just re-found them at Wilson's Promontory National Park. That's a good smile. Yeah, we've got a that one. It was pretty special. It was my first broadtooth rat to see one in an area where we haven't actually seen them, anyone's seen them in 30 years is very special indeed, just from a conservation perspective and from a personal perspective. To have done all this work and to finally see them at a place where they are so elusive is pretty special. Most of our records and knowledge of broadtooth rat comes from highland systems. This is probably one of the very few records from a coastal lowland system. This habitat is surprising because we often drive past it. It's near the main road and it looks fairly plain and average, but the more we look, the more we find. Broadtooth rat's are unique in that it is completely obsessed with grass. Grass is everything for a broadtooth rat. It is its food, it is its home, and this little brown ball of fluff just hangs out in these beautiful grassy areas. We're still figuring out what's happening for this species in the wild. We think that they've undergone some pretty serious declines um, in recent decades. So they're really susceptible to predation by cats and foxes because they've really relaxed, really docile little guys. They're a really easy target for predators. Rediscovering them in the grasses that we've found them in is yeah, really exciting news for the species. It means there's going to be some extra genetic diversity that's been held onto here that we thought would have been lost. So we're going to check out all that stuff and see how these guys relate to um, other broadtooth rats across the state. <laughs>